Hello and welcome to the Game Closet. Today we'll be reviewing Hogwarts, a Harry Potter Lego game. One of the exciting things about this game is that you get to build it. It's completely made out of Legos. <clears throat> First off, you get to choose your house. <gasps> Not Slytherin! Not Slytherin! This board is made up of common rooms, the moving staircases and the classrooms, which are Transfiguration, Potions, Divination, and the Library. Okay, so how you get your homework items is by first rolling this die. There are three different things you can roll, and the first one is called the Rotate. So you pick up any staircase and you rotate it to your advantage or to hurt someone else, depending on the type of person you are. And the next thing is the Marauder's Map. <clears throat> this means you can move to any adjacent um, staircase or classroom, even if it's not connected. So I could hop to this over here, even though it's not connected. And the last thing is moving the staircases. So <clears throat> what I do is I take one out and I move the number of times it says. This one says two, so one, two, and then I put this back. But you don't have to do that many, you just have to do one if you would like. After you get all your homework items, then you want to get back to your common room first, and that's how you win. And so after you've got the basic game down, you can add other little twists and turns, like there's Mrs. Norris and Dumbledore and some students, and you can make up your own rules if you'd like, so it's rather exciting. The thing that I like about this game is that I actually feel like I'm at Hogwarts. So much so that I could be wearing a witch's hat right now. It's just like magic, isn't it? Well, that's all for the game closet today. Stupefy!